Welcome back YouTube from sunny Martin Creek Lake State Park near Tatum, Texas. This is going to be home for a few days. on this beautiful fall Monday morning. This is Martin Creek Lake out here. We got this state park yesterday and as you can see the leaves are turning and they're falling from the trees. It's very, very quiet, picturesque here. I say quiet, it's quiet except for there's a droning noise and there's a power plant, electric power plant right here across the lake from this part and so it's constantly running 24 hours a day it doesn't go up or down the noise just stays the same all the time you can see our park set up here our camp set up and so the trailers doing well uh, obviously the solar panels are not going to be very effective with these tall trees but we're on shore power right now, so that shouldn't be a problem. You can see I've installed a undercover bed cover on the uh, Colorado, and this is what it looks like inside. So it's a wet towel from last night. That's one of the things we gave up, an eight foot long bed with a camper shell for a five foot bed with a bed cover. So a lot less cubic feet to store. In here, I keep all of our uh, tire plug kit, compressor, first aid kit, uh, other tools that I might need. We're gonna go kayaking today. So this is our inflatable kayak, and it folds up nicely and fits inside here. That's the spare tire for the trailer. And this tub here is for kayaking materials and supplies. And then this is our outdoor dining tent if we wanna set that up. This tub here stores all of our leveling blocks and things like that for our trailer. So changing to this truck, we lost our clothesline that we had inside of our camper shell for the purpose of drying wet towels and clothes. That's a challenge, having wet clothes and towels while you're riding. So we're going to have to put a clothesline inside the trailer somewhere to hang up wet clothes and wet towels so still learning how to pack this thing out and make the best use of the space the limited space that i have so we decided to go kayaking down the sabine river near carthage texas and these are the scenes that we see fall leaves turning and dropping and it's been a lot of high water it's very quiet and very peaceful. Looked like a good place for us to stop for a lunch break. It's a nice little sandbar on the side of the river. It's 
just a very peaceful fall day on the Sabine River. Very nice ride. Some more beautiful shots of this river. It's just been a really peaceful day. And then we haven't seen anybody on this river today. It's not very deep, so you're not going to use power boats on this river. It's kayaks, canoes, things like that. The park has decently clean restrooms. You know, they've got cabins for rent. The power plant this morning must not be putting out much electricity because it's pretty quiet this morning. It doesn't really wake you up. It's just a background humming noise and it happens a lot. It, of course, it's louder sometimes than other times. It's a lakefront view. They have a fishing pier and a bridge to a small island where they have hiking and biking trails. This is one of the more picturesque views here. We've got a little bridge and it's canopied by the uh, trees with the falling leaves and the changing colors. Frequently you'll find some deer. This is a fishing pier, and then they have the island here, and you have a bridge to the island here. They also allow fishing off of the bridge towards the island. There's primitive camping on the island, and there are hiking and biking trails. It's a view from the bridge back to the camp area. Restrooms here, these are boat docks here. Here they've got a swimming area, beach area, volleyball nets, and a bathhouse up here. The bathhouses overall are pretty clean, and they're heated and have hot water. I would rate them, as far as the state park goes, I'd rate them a high eight, maybe a nine. Um, they're a little bit used, but not too bad. There's no hand soap at the sinks. And that's a little frustrating when you go to the restroom and there's no way to wash your hands. You have to wait till you get back to your camp to wash your hands or bring your own soap. Here's another view of the bridge from the other direction. You can see this interesting drainage aqueduct here that they, it's been hand built. And, uh, layers of rock have been laid on each side to help the drainage from the road. Overall a nice peaceful a place to stay. Most of the campsites are pretty level. Ours is pretty level. We were at 31. I did notice like 32 has quite a bit of slope to it towards the lake. So you have to be prepared that some of the sites are not going to be as level as others. But overall a good experience. If you like what you saw, if you learned anything, please like, please share, please subscribe. More videos to come. We'll see you soon, YouTube. Have a good day.